In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a DNA model using pipe cleaners. This is cheap, vibrant, and very easy to make. You're going to need scissors, you're going to need some tape, and lastly, you're going to need some pipe cleaners, of course. For this project, you're going to want two strands of one color, another two strands of another color, and then one strand of four different colors. These four will make up the inside of your model, and these four will tie together into two strands that will make up the sides of your model. Now, let's make the sides of your model. Go ahead and take these two different colors and just pair them up like that. Once you've done that, you want to twist these together to form a single strand. Take the next two. For this next step, we're going to have the inner molecules of our DNA model. And what we want out of this uh, are going to be five equal parts from each of the strands. Perhaps about this much would be good. We want to make these creases a bit, you know, tighter. You can pull this out and go ahead and cut it. Notice the excess one is a little taller, so I'm just going to shorten that. You get around five strands. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Now you have five strands of your four different colors. Now you're ready for the next step. So we can go ahead and pair up two colors and then assign them to one strand and then pair up another two colors and assign them to the next strand. Now let's take one of these strands, one of the colors, and then what we're going to want to do, so you don't want it too long. You want it just about maybe here, coming out from the end of the striped strand. The rest on this side, you can take and just wrap around the strand so that it'll hold tightly. It should look something like this. So now that's one. Then we're going to want to continue the same thing down the stripe. So as you can see, I finished one of the strands with the smaller strands patterned across the length, spread across pretty evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with the next strand and do the very same thing. When you're doing the second strand, you have to make sure that it's lined up and keep checking if I'm aligned as I go through the strand so that at the end, it should line up very cleanly like a ladder to the other side. Once you have two strands, you're ready for the next step and that is putting them together. Hopefully you made it so that they're pretty much aligned. Even if not, that's okay. Uh, you'll be able to turn the strands and align them anyways. So now, you'll be actually be using the tape. So what you want to do is take your very first pair and you want to attach them like a ladder. So just have this overlap right here. And once you have an overlap, take a good amount of tape and just kind of tape it together. Once you have taped each of the rungs of your ladder, you are almost there. So go ahead and just pinch through the tape, make sure that it's a tight hold. Now you're ready to bend it into shape. So to do that, grab one end here and grab the other end, same time. And then all you have to do is slowly turn the model and hold it in place. Something like that. Try to keep it straight. The beauty of pipe cleaners is that eventually they will hold in place. But it will take a while. If you want to, you can just compress it this way into a cylinder. There you go. You just made another DNA model. Step by step. Well, that's it for today. 
Thank you all for watching this video. If you like it, please press like, share it to your friends, hit subscribe, and have a great day.